Uh, you talked about quad dominance earlier mm. on um, when we were looking at Jack. Uh, Vlad says, how do we help people who are quad dominant? Because he says he sees it all the time. Yeah. Um, oh, God, this is a big... We need a whole other session on that one. That's, that's, uh, we're into, happy with that. Yeah, in terms of movement. <laughs> um, yeah, we could have a whole movement session on that. I'd, I'd, so what I do with this specifically, especially when I'm coming from the yoga perspective, I'll use some of the elements on that, which is born out of the work of... of uh, Van der Scarabelli and what I've understood from the martial arts is where and contact improvisation if you've heard of that it's a movement form um, where we give weight to the ground so how do you let your body weight meet the ground well so the idea of contact improvisation which is a movement form and a dance form you see two dancers give their body weight to each other and roll with each other that means total commitment of body weight knowing that the other person isn't going to just fall over and get out of your way. You meet each other and you move with each other. Mm. We do that with the ground. Animals give one their whole body weight to the ground when they move so that they move elegantly with it. Humans, for some unknown reason, hold ourselves away from the ground and our foot doesn't meet the ground very well. So when it comes through certain movements and... I would suggest maybe a, a squat type movement with the knees on the floor and the toes tucked under, the hands down. So it's like a four, um, all fours position, but with the bum on the heels. And then learning to roll up towards something that looks like um, downward facing dog, but to give the weight fully through the rolling part of the foot and the quadriceps start to let go. But what a lot of people do is jump into the quadriceps first to brace against the movement. And it takes a lot of practice because there's some unlearning to take place. Mm. And from a manual perspective, we might need to go in there and do some work to free up the quadricep region and certain lengthening type arrangements to take out the tone because we see high tone. Yeah. So it's how the, the I'm going to come back to the foot, it's how the foot settles on the ground and where they can centralize the load. We, we noticed on our model that the moment the sole of the foot opened, just with a, quite a small move, really, it wasn't a, a huge treatment, um, is that his body weight started to drift back, just primarily on that side. And quite commonly what we'll see is that the tone relaxes from the quadriceps so that it's not being pulled forwards. And it's, it's a common pattern that we right. see.